May 2015. Italian astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti uploads a strange photograph she's taken from the International Space Station. A star-spangled Milky Way that isn't out in space. It's on the surface of the Earth. So what we're looking at here is an image that looks like a long strip of lots of bright lights. You think to yourself, where on Earth is that? Whatever this phenomenon is, it's massive. The gathering of the strange lights has provoked wild speculation of unidentified craft in the South Seas. But there are no reports of UFO sightings in the area. The NASA images also pose a puzzle. If you look at the satellite images over a period of a few days, you can see that the lights actually move around. Could the lights be coming from mysterious craft after all? When investigators map the coordinates onto local charts, they realize the lights form a pattern that exactly matches the territorial waters of the Falkland Islands. This is the smoking gun. This shows us that we're looking at a human operation on the ocean surface. The only thing that it can be are ships with lights. The only thing that they can be doing is fishing. The bright lights are part of a high-tech fishing method that guarantees an enormous catch. At night, if you shine bright lights, certain species will be attracted to the surface. The plankton comes to the surface. The smaller fish go after the plankton. The larger fish go after the smaller fish. The squid go after the even larger fish. Sounds convincing, but there are many hundreds of lights out there and only 100 licenses per year are issued to fish these waters. There are far more lights than you would imagine for those licenses. So we've got hundreds, if not thousands, of unlicensed, unregulated fishermen out there just stripping the ocean of fish completely illegally. Illegal fishing in this area is big business. One night's catch of squid can net up to $72,000. These people could be taking 300,000 tons of illegal fish from the oceans every single year. In March 2016, two illegal fishing boats were caught in the area. One was sunk. Without Christopher Reddy's photograph, the enormous illegal enterprise might never have been discovered. 